What's up everybody? So, kind of a late start to the day because I stayed up late because I finally was able to enjoy some time to myself without having to worry to study. So, I slept until like 11 and then I found out uh, <clears throat> my teacher decided to do an assignment the last day before break. So, I wasn't too happy about that, but I finished it up, thankfully. So, in here cooking breakfast, it's about... Well, we're still doing the the toast, butter toast, just one slice. And uh, maybe next week I might move to like uh, some pancakes. I don't know, with some sugar-free syrup. Enjoy it. Yes, you can do that. It's fine. It's not gonna hurt you or anything. It's I don't do any whole wheat pancakes because they taste disgusting. I still do. Where is it at? I do the uh, the crusties because they taste amazing. I don't mind. My body can afford it. So try it out. See if you your body can afford it too. So uh, today I work at like five. So the diet, uh, the timing of the meals is probably going to have to change to every two hours just to get all the meals in. I want to train, I wanna train shoulders just because I don't want to be sore after uh, after work with, uh, with legs. So I might do legs tomorrow. Last meal before the workout. About an hour before, I'm, I'm just eating it like an hour before just because it's a really light meal, so it's not gonna fill up my stomach that much at all. I actually haven't been very hungry right now, or recently, not yet. It's still kind of tedious to be eating this many meals, but once you actually start eating the meal, then you're like, oh man, I'm actually really hungry. So I'm enjoying this right now. But it's typically what I'm going to be eating before the workout. Just see the chicken and I got the pasta there. But maybe I'll go potatoes. Maybe I'll go rice. But I mean, most likely I'll stick with pasta just because I'm Italian. So that <laughs> that taste is, uh, is in my genetics. never get tired of pasta. I used to eat pasta every single day growing up. Every day. We cook it up fresh every single day. Even as a as a teenager, as a kid, just every day. Never got tired of it. So we got shoulders today. Um I'm gonna be hitting all heads of it. For those that don't know you have different heads of your deltoid. You have a front deltoid. It stresses out in that area. The middle deltoid and the rear delt comes back here this way. Also gonna be hitting a little bit of traps. I'll try and record as much as I can. It's mid it's midday right now and everybody's going home for Thanksgiving break, so maybe I'll actually be able to record more of the workout and actually give you guys tips during the workout. But we'll see what happens. We got shoulders, shoulders and traps. Unfortunately I did not get to give you guys tips during this workout because there were still people there and if I'd gotten caught they would have said no you can't do that. So I just avoided that altogether. Our first exercise is going to be seated hammer strength shoulder press. Now for this one, we're going to be doing four sets of 18. Before you do this though, get a good warm up in your shoulders to make sure that every aspect of your shoulders are warmed up to avoid injury. As you can see, I'm going slowly down, quickly up, and at the end here, I'm going to do some cheat reps just to get out the set. Finish out the reps as much as you can. Next exercise is going to be lateral raises with the dumbbells. We're doing four sets of 15 reps. As you notice, I do not keep my arms straight, otherwise I feel it more in my traps. I kind of keep my arms bent, not totally bent, but just so much that way I can still feel it in my deltoids. So we're doing four sets of 15. At the top, I'm squeezing it just ever so slightly. And at the end here, I got some cheat reps just to finish the reps. Next exercise is going to be rear delt flies on the cable machine. As you notice, I do not go all the way back. I don't know why people do in the gym. It actually pisses me off when I see it because you're not working your rear delts. You're working your back by doing that. If you go behind your shoulders, you're working your back, not your rear delts. I keep my arms slightly bent because that helps me focus on the rear delt even more. And I get a good squeeze out of this at the top of the rep. I let the weight come down slowly. And at the end here, some cheat reps just to finish it out. Four sets of 18 reps right here. Now, 
we're doing some trap work here with the shrug machine and you're going to do four sets of 20 reps as you can see i keep my body straight i stand up nice and tall and i'm shrugging with my traps i'm not using my knee my knees i'm not using my legs to get the weight up i'm squeezing at the top everything is in my traps right now and i'm kind of shrugging my shoulder blades up and behind my neck not just straight up choking myself but I'm shrugging my shoulder blades up and behind me to get the full contraction. And to finish it out for cardio acceleration, in between sets of the shrugs, we're doing bench step ups. Once you finish this, that is it for day five. Shoulders and traps all done. Good shit, y'all. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, uh, this girl, the homie, say hi to the people, Courtney. Because <laughs> she's the homie, known her since I was a little kid. <laughs> she's impatient. Uh, they're still baking hot. So, it's her birthday next week. I'm not going to be here for it, sadly. So we decided to bake uh, one of the little tasty creations you see on Facebook. And we chose Nutella brownies, which sounds pretty amazing because we're both really basic. <laughs> so they're delicious. Nutritious and delicious. Very. So, uh, yeah, it's not part of the diet, but... We're not training for a show, guys, so if you have something like somebody's birthday, like a family member, or for me, next week, it's Thanksgiving, don't skip out on it just because a little fat loss thing. It's okay if you have one, two, or three uh, meals that aren't on the diet throughout the program. Not in a row, but just every once in a while. It's not going to deter you or anything. Make sure it's on a day that you actually train, though, if you can make it that day. So that might mean you have to do like eight days, nine days, ten days of training in a row to eat that meal. You can have one, those few bad meals. Just don't just binge. Don't just binge on it. Eat it moderately. Don't fill yourself up. Eat till you're satisfied. But still enjoy yourself. But anyways, finishing up the meals. Going to have steak and broccoli pretty soon. So... That's it for day, day five. So. Same thing,